I'm like, now he gets around other people and he's he gets all shy. All right. <laughs> because be, I don't want to get yelled at. Be you all the time. Uh, be uh, be 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 uh, what is it? What is your saying? Somebody Hindu? important. Oh, be yourself. Okay. Be yourself. <laughs> so there you go. What's going on, everybody? We are live. It is Tuesday night. It is still conspiracy time. <laughs> Look at if I wasn't ready to be here, Hendo got me going because I'm ready now. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy right now. You, you know how racism tickles should. <laughs> I mean, was that really racist, though? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, so, I mean, no, it, it didn't tickle no. me too much, but it was pretty funny. Seems like it tickled you quite a bit. No, it really did tickle me. <laughs> You're still in. <laughs> All right, we have a lot to talk about today. Let's get it started. I feel we can beat the Browns. We can compete with Baltimore if they have Lamar. And we're right there with me. That man, that young man put his life on the line for you, for your entertainment. We were talking all, all uh, before the game. You know, everyone was like, nah, the Ravens don't have a shot. And they only, they're right there. I, I I find it hilarious that Hendo's wearing the shirt of himself. <laughs> Jesus, but don't worry, I'm gonna get wearing, it fixed. I'm wearing, okay, we're gonna... of, I'm wearing a shirt of my stream. I'm not wearing a shirt of myself. But yeah, but you in the in the in the picture of your shirt. So, but don't worry. But I am gonna be fixing that uh, that intro. We're gonna get it fixed. But I need yeah. someone to send me Amaj's beats because they're so fired, so I can get it fixed. Um, once I get that, I'll be able to fix it. But what's going on, everybody? How are we doing today? Happy Tuesday. Oh, excuse me. We already got some people in the chat. We got Jay to six. How are you doing, sir? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Jeremy so Miller. popped in right after we said our racism. He was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the magic word. Hey, how doing? What is going on, Buck? How are you doing, sir? Glad to see you. <laughs> and Microphone Man is making an appearance. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, we have, a bit, we have a good show tonight. It's going to be very fun. We're going to be talking about a lot of cool stuff. Um, talking about some new NFL rules. Talking about March Madness uh, for the women, not for the, really the men. Even though I was watching some of the men's games, they were pretty good on Saturday. Yeah, they're, they're entertaining enough, but it's just not like interest. It's like UFC. Yeah. Like you're not excited <laughs> about the <laughs> games, but. You know, you know, they get exciting, but yeah, you're not. There was one dude with a bad hairline. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like his hairline was all the way back here. Like it was there, <laughs> and he had a fro. It was bad. I don't know why it was, he got his. It was bad. He was from Tennessee or uh, Texas. It was a guy from Texas. It was real bad. Uh, we're also going to be talking uh, Steelers, and also, guys, have you ever been spoiled? What? Yeah. Have you been what? You said what? Yeah, Sp spoiled. Have you ever been spoiled? No, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, get you guys are about to have, find something I, amazing about this. Feel like, I feel like I want to leave the show now. Thanks. No, you're not leaving the show. Get out of here. <laughs> but before we before we start, uh, a lot of a lot of my friends in the LBHT community, uh, or not LB, yeah, LBHT community are uh, a part are from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we had a tragic accident this morning, uh, and uh, thank. You know, obviously, a lot of the LBHT members crew uh, were not on there, but there were people that lost their lives, and it was a very tragic thing. Uh, a lot going on. Uh, they're still searching for people, so I just want to shout out, send out a prayer to Baltimore um, and the people that may have family that was on that bridge 
Uh, it's very tragic, um, very sad. Uh, I know Hendo. I know Brian, you're in West Virginia, even though we all say you're in Baltimore. But Hendo, I know you're in, you're in Maryland, and uh, just want to uh, send prayers out to you. Uh, not just everybody in Baltimore, but also uh, the the city and the state of Maryland. Uh, if you want to speak on anything on it, yeah, you're more than welcome to. No, I mean it was. Listen, it was it was tough. Some tough news to wake up to. Um, you never want to hear that. And Dre and I were just talking about it. He and I used to use that bridge for work, and a lot of our friends use that bridge to go back and forth. So you, you never know. And right before we got on, Dre and I were talking about you have to cherish life and cherish every day like it was your last. And listen, prayers out to the families and still six people missing. So hopefully they find them and hopefully they find them safe. But yeah, no, nobody was expecting this this morning. Yeah, for sure. And um, I know we all joke around and we mess around and stuff and you know say things about Baltimore. But uh, right now, that, that's very important that we send uh, love and prayer to uh, to to Baltimore and, and the state of Maryland because they really need it and you know help uplift uh, that that city and state because it really needs it right now. So uh, make sure you send that uh, those prayers out to those people and those families. Uh, Brian, if you'd like to say anything, also. No, I mean Hendo said it. You know, it's uh, one of those things that just reminds you uh, to to like you said to cherish the people that you love, the people that are in your life while you can, because you never know. Yeah, yeah, definitely love, cherish I, the ones you love. I love y'all guys for sure. There you go. I know, I know, I know, I know. We all mess. I was with talking somebody, to but... the people in the chat, Rodney. I know <laughs> it's hurtful though. But I was talking. It's kind of. I was, I was, I was, kinda, I was, kinda, I was actually talking to all y'all. <laughs> it's kind of art, Brian. It's kind of artificial with what he said to you in the back, you know. Yeah, isn't it though? Yeah. What I almost said? <laughs> no, no, you said it. Oh, I you said it. said it. I, I almost I heard, said it. I heard the entire thing. Of course, <laughs> yeah. y'all did. I did not say it. I stopped myself. I, I love y'all too. But, yeah, I, I, I do love all y'all in the chat and on screen. Uh, the LBHT crew, even though we again we all mess with each other, like we really do uh, treat y'all each other like we treat each other like family and. Um, I appreciate all of you guys in the chat on screen. Y'all mean a lot to me. So appreciate all of you. Appreciate everybody in my life. Uh, family members, I uh, love y'all. Even though if we don't talk anymore, uh, I don't wish anything ill will. And we love, and I do love you. So shout out to everybody. Uh, we got, yeah, Big Ridge. Love y'all too. Jeremy Miller, love you too, Hendo. Ooh, just okay. Hendo, though. Yeah, just Hendo. Because Jeremy Jay. Has to... <laughs> so, Jay. Buck. Marcus, so what's Marcus. going on? Jared, what's going on? Jay. Glad to see you here. All right. So, actually, we're going to start with the NFL news. We will, we'll get to the Steelers in a little bit. But let's talk about this new NFL rule changes. Uh, two big ones. The hip drop tackle mm -hmm. and uh, the kickoff. Now, the hip drop tackle, someone posted this. And I thought it was actually pretty funny. They showed the Rams versus the uh, Titans Super Bowl, and they said, if it wasn't for the hip drop tackle, we don't get this great moment, um, you know, saving a Super Bowl. You know, why, why is the NFL doing this? And there's been a lot of backlash. Pretty much everyone's saying we should just play two-hand touch. Uh, you know, we should just change it to, you know, touch football, uh, flag football, things like that. We know there's been a lot of injuries. We know football is a very dangerous sport. Uh, obviously, the horse collar tackles, low knee, no tackles at the knees. Uh, you know, running backs that don't protect the knees uh, and get hit there. You know, things like that happen uh, yeah. all the know time. Nothing in Pittsburgh. Hmm. We do <laughs> break, we break, we break uh, running backs and quarterbacks' uh, legs. That's what we do out here, collecting, collecting them legs. Um, what do you guys think about the first off the hip, uh, the hip, hip drop uh, tackle, and why it being outlawed in the NFL? <laughs> you know, I, I can't stand it when people like every time there's a penalty or a rule change or whatever, they're like, oh, just put, just put flags on them. Oh, this isn't football anymore. Blah blah blah. Because first of all, y'all. You didn't play in the NFL. You don't know what they were doing before. <laughs> but second, it's just this its just this ridiculous overreaction from just people who just don't like change. But kind of with them on this one. And, like, 
I mean, I know that you know that, that people out there, oh, that's not proper technique and all this stuff. Okay, but you're talking about uh, world class athletes, guys who are 230, 40, 50 pounds running four fours, four threes in some case, you're not gonna be able to make a textbook tackle. <laughs> and you know, and especially and I saw a lot of Ravens fans uh you know, going that route because one of the clips they used was Mark Andrews getting injured uh, by this kind of tackle. And, and I'm just like, the Ravens fans would be the first ones on the front line crying if one of their defenders missed a tackle because they didn't want to do a hip drop tackle and let the guy go, right? Uh, case in point, Patrick Queen. Y'all turned on him like he, <laughs> like he was nothing. So I, I don't yeah. like the I don't like the rule change. It's just I think they're they're going too far and they're taking too much away from the defense and making it much much too hard uh, to to defend these offenses now. Yeah, Steeler Steeler legend Patrick Queen. Uh, yes. Make sure to shut that up. Uh, Hendo, how about you? Uh, I hate it. Listen, understandably, a few people got hurt, just like with the horse collar. You know, sir, some people got hurt, but. What do you expect these defenders to do? First of all, they can't hit them high. They can't hit them low. You give them a strike zone to hit players in without them being penalized. And even if they do it correctly, they're still getting flags. They're still getting fines. So what do you really expect them to do? And I look at it like this. I need the Ravens to win the Super Bowl now before they really mess things up and don't know what they're doing. Because I can just imagine Derrick Henry running and Patrick Queen trying to tackle him one-on-one straight up. It's going to be a travesty. They're going to run Patrick Queen over and have him just land there. Yeah, I, I love it because I, I did see somebody say, I, I told this to Jose, like, uh, somebody was like, oh, I just realized this might make Derrick Henry unstoppable. And I'm like, just like Ravens fans to say, this is going to make our 30 year old running back unstoppable <laughs> instead of saying, oh my God, why did we waste so much time and money trying to build an elite defense? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I, I think. Um... I think for me, what what is this what is this really accomplishing? I can understand you're trying to protect players, but you can't hit players like if a if a if a linebacker is going to get a running back from behind, he now has to have a shoulder, put it right in the middle of that running back's back, and now you're going to call a defensive you know defenseless player you know penalty or you know or what if somebody okay I have to go high now. And I hit him in the back, and you break somebody's back or hurt hmm. or hurt them really bad. Now what? Because I can't I can't drop a uh, you know hip tackle anymore, and I can't go for the head, which I understand. And if I go too high, you call a penalty on me. So where where am I allowed to hit them? You yeah, and, and I'm completely on board with the you know the the flagging hits in the head. I completely get no. that, and that, that's just a that's a even the knee, even the knee, I, I even the knee. Yeah, I, I, I get the it. knee, like because you know. With the knee, yeah, you shouldn't be diving at somebody's knee. You dive in, at mid thigh, right? You, right? you can hit him in the leg and not hit him in the knee. Unless uh, you got thighs like Nick this, Chubb, then I don't know what to tell you. But what they're, I'm sorry, like, especially well, what, what happened, they're saying, hey. essentially what they're saying is, hey, if you can't bring him down without you know leaving your feet and kind of you know dropping all your weight, let him go. Is is essentially what this rule is saying to defenders. Just okay. <laughs> Uh, they they're 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 past you. They're slightly past you. You can't bring them down like that. Then you just let them go. And you know they're trying to skew everything towards the offense. Mm -hmm. This is the offensive yeah. league, and points were down last season, so they're trying to bring the scoring back up. They're trying to bring the excitement back into the game. So to Brodney's point, we waited all we wasted all this time invested in defense, and now they're just going to let offensive players just run wild. And we don't have wide receivers or any skill position players. Well, to listen, do this. that was your fault. You out here campaigning. For Devin Duvernay to get cut, to, to to be off the team, and and now there's not the, two rule two rule changes that make him much more valuable to the Baltimore he's Ravens. Not, he's not the same Devin Duvernay though. Okay, the same as what? He was in his All Pro year 2022. How could you tell? Have you not watched him the last two years? When he had 32 well, returns, he's been on the field. He had 32 opportunities last season. Okay, but, but now he's getting now he's gonna have much, much better opportunities thanks to the second rule change. What's going on, Jose? All right, let's get second into the change. let's get into the second rule change. And Bronny, what is that second rule change? Uh they're gonna switch over to the XFL kickoff. Uh which means that 
the kicker is still going to be kicking from the same spot that they always are, at least the 35, uh, 35 or 40. But the kick, the kick team and the return team are going to line up, uh, I believe it's five to 10 yards away from each other on the receiving side of the field. Uh, and that's going to be between the, uh, the, I believe it was between the 30 and the 40 yard line. I, I got to pull up the graph again. But then they have the landing zone, which is, you know, where you can have one to two returners. And essentially what they're trying to encourage is for kickers to keep the ball in play and not just boot it out of the back of the end zone like what happens all the time right now because they're, they're moving up the touchback, you know, a little further. I believe they set it at the 30. And, you know, because they want to discourage. 40, wasn't it? I think initially they they wanted it higher or or, or further downfield, but they, they moved it back a little bit to kind of compromise. Uh but what they what they're trying to do is you don't get the the huge running start and these these super violent collisions, uh, and and you give the returners a bit more space to catch the ball and start running. Uh, so we'll see more more uh, returns in in the game because right now it's it's pretty much worthless having to kick. Yeah, off. there's no returns. Yeah, and um, I'm actually did they take out it. did they take out fair catches? Did they approve that rule when he took up the fake? Uh, I didn't see that part. I know that they were talking about that. I believe that's part of it. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is like a horrible. Yeah, it says uh, it must image. be returned. Must be returned if received in the landing zone. So you can't. can't uh... I apologize for that. This is a horrible image. Uh, but go ahead, go ahead. Um, I know I'll fix this real quick. I mean, you know, they're trying to ramp up the points in the game. Um, I mean, I like the part of Baltimore on the wrong side of history every time, boy. <laughs> I like all that. pro returner, let yeah. man walk in free agency for nothing, and then the league was like, "Guess what, guys? <laughs> Returns are back. He ain't nothing." <laughs> and and, and Pittsburgh like... signed the best kickoff returner of all time. Who was that? Cordero Patterson. They signed Cordero Patterson. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they did that today. Yes. Yeah. I was too busy working. And they and they are desperately trying desperately trying to get Brandon Ayuk. But we'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah, we'll about, yeah, about, about a night. Yeah. But yeah, listen, there scoring. There's a, scoring there's a I love the I love the fact I love the fact that there are no more fair catches. Like you gotta do something with it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So it says right here, but Alan Wallace is gonna earn his money this year. Yeah, it says ball at the 35 if it goes out of the end zone, ball at the 40 if it doesn't reach the landing zone, ball at the 20 if it hits the landing zone and rolls into the end zone, must be returned if in the, must be returned and received if yeah. received in the landing zone. So, yeah, so no more fair catches. You have to return it. Which is fine because, you know, there's no need for a fair catch because the, the return or the, the coverage team is not going to be right on top of you when you're trying to catch the ball. Which is why fair catches exist because those guys would be dead otherwise. Mm-hmm. But you're going to have plenty of plenty of space to make the catch and start running, uh, and, and those guys aren't going to be going ten, you know, a thousand miles an hour by the time they get to you because you know they're not they're not you know running that far. The blockers are right on top of them. Uh, so I like the I like this overall. I like bringing the kickoff back. Uh, this also makes it safer. Uh, it should make the game more exciting. So, so we're we're agreeing that the kickoff rule, okay, we're fine with that. I do agree to no 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 more uh fair catch, that's fine. Uh but the hip t- the hip tackle rule we're kinda all just like eh, like awful. Yeah. I don't like what okay. they're doing with the onside kick though. because uh, now that you have to announce if you're going for an onside kick, you can only do it in the fourth quarter and, and if you're trailing. And I'm like, if you're going this route with the new kickoff rules, right? Just adopt what I believe it's the Eagles have been uh, suggesting for a couple of years, which is if you want an opportunity to get the ball, then you you have a fourth and 20 play. And if you get it, then you get to keep the ball. And if not, then it goes over to the other team. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't like – yeah, I, I agree with you, Ronnie. I don't like this onside kick rule change because it just kind of – like. I would like to institute that in Madden because you know you play the drug offs that just onside kick all day. But 
uh, as far as in a real game, yeah, I don't agree. I think they they should not. <laughs> you shouldn't have to announce it. And right. Yeah, like okay. like Jeremy Miller says, announcing your, your you have an onside kick, then what's the point of the strategy? Yeah. All right, because with that, then the New Orleans Saints might not have a Super Bowl. Facts. All right. Uh, today, Steelers signed. Patterson, uh, Cordero, Cordero, Patterson. Cordero Patterson. Um, he's a you know, probably going to be a third running back. Uh, this does open a lot of discussion because there's rumors out there that 49ers want uh, uh, Calvin Austin or possibly moving Najee to get Brandon Ayuk, leaving with Warren and Patterson. Calvin Austin season. Um, so it's very interesting. That this has all come out, we have saw when we traded, when we traded uh, Kenny Pickett. You know, I had said, "Is this you know make a make a uh, room for the uh, Justin Fields?" And then, boom, the next day we got Justin Fields. Um, this is probably not a big splash signing, but I think it is important because, like Brian said, return return uh, kicker, you know, punt returner can do some things for the special team. Uh, So I I would ask how you guys feel about this, but it's not a big enough signing. I'll get more into Brandon Ayuk. Will the Steelers land Ayuk? Wow. I thought it was a big signing. I thought it was a great signing. Right. He's he's the best kick returner ever. Uh, He was a 1,000-yard running back a couple years ago, and he's been a – I'm not not gonna say a super productive wide receiver, but he's been a, a you know a fairly productive wide receiver at times in his career as well. Like he you can put him pretty much anywhere, and you know with the new oh, kick return so. rules that that's gonna be a big advantage for Pittsburgh. I think. Hmm. Yeah. This, is, okay. this, is a, this is a great sign. Like he's big and he's fast. He's like six four two fifty. Like what you gonna do with him? Like I thought that the Ravens were gonna sign him last year or try to acquire him just at least for some depth. But apparently, we said, you know what? We want it done. JK we got you. Come back. We... Brad, I said this before. I'm going to say this again. Words hurt. I, they, that's what they're <laughs> saying. They said, uh, what's his name? Rappaport said he looks fantastic. I don't care what they said. They said that last year. Words hurt. They mean things. They do mean things. You should remember that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you think the Steelers are going to land IU? There's been a no. lot of tweeting. You hope. That's that, that's that hurt talking right there. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. My man John Lynch said, listen, I don't know what you heard. We it's trying to work it out. Every single time, right. every single time the 49ers organization says something about Brandon IU, Brandon IU hops on Instagram and tells you all this bullshit. He tweets something out. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are going. I, I, I've said I think that Ayuk is going to be moved sooner rather than later. And if they're, uh, you know, really intent on making it happen, I think they will. I think they'll prefer to move him out of conference. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, if they if they really want it and they're willing to pay him, I think it'll get done. I mean, listen, I don't yeah. know what connection he's trying to make with Tomlin, but I think he's trying to facilitate a way to get to Pittsburgh. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but he's trying his best. I'm hoping he comes to Baltimore, but we'll see. Yeah, he ain't tweeting at John Harbaugh saying we look alike. Mm-hmm. Like that's not happening. He can't say that. Mm-hmm. He said. He, he said. He said. He tweeted at John Harbaugh and said, "You look just like my quarterback's father." <laughs> he really does. He, he looks like looks, he, he looks exactly <laughs> like a Harbaugh. But he could. He could have said we look alike. He, it was a lie when he said it to Tomlin. He can lie to Harbaugh too. Yeah, they don't look alike. They don't yeah. look alike at all. Everybody knows yeah. who Mike Tomlin look like. Omar Epps. That's right. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's let's keep it moving. March Madness is heating up, and I'm not talking about the men's. Women's is set. Sweet sixteen. Um, very excited about this. Uh, we got some big matchups Friday: Oregon State, Notre Dame, NC State versus Stanford. Gonzaga versus Texas, Indiana versus South Carolina. And then Saturday, you got LSU, UCLA, Baylor, USC, Duke, UConn, Iowa, Colorado. Ooh, I didn't realize it was Duke, UConn. It's Duke, UConn. Yeah, this is, dude, there's dead. Look at 
other than maybe I don't honestly Notre Dame and Oregon State looks like the most boring matchup. Every other matchup looks great. Stanford, NC State, uh, you know, South Carolina, Indiana, Texas, Gonzaga, UCLA, LSU, USC, Baylor, UConn, Duke, Iowa, Colorado. Like, these are all just – it's going to be very interesting to watch and see what happens. Uh, we saw with Iowa State, uh, we had uh, – uh, uh, her name was Crook, uh, Alicia Audi Crooks. Crooks. Audi Crooks. Audi Crooks versus um, the girl from Stanford. Yeah, um, uh, Brink. Yeah, and that was just a battle of fouling. <laughs> they fouled the crap out of each other. Um, you saw West Virginia versus Iowa, where West Virginia said uh, your girl you're being physical. Eh, they beat them by ten. It wasn't that. Close. It was yeah. It was it was tied with, with a few minutes left. Mm-hmm. I I think a lot of a lot of people are really um, are really like overplaying this whole thing like oh yeah they were you know they were it was a close game like was it though West Virginia yes it was, yes, a, it was a close, close game. game yes it was I mean it was a t- it was a 10 point game it wasn't that at the end it was a 10 point game right. it was it was a tie game with I think it was three minutes well left. I will say this Iowa I don't know what the what the problem is with the second and uh was it third uh second and fourth quarter mm-hmm. they scored six and seven points <laughs> six points seven points twenty in the first quarter um uh, twenty in the uh, twenty two in the third, but it couldn't score anything. Uh, I don't know what their problem has been so far, but I'll, I'll tell you, it's about to be Angel Reese. How <laughs> about that? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You know, we'll see. You know, it's a, it's a. I, I picked Iowa to go all the way, so I think I don't know if LSU's gonna get past UCLA. To win the title? What? Okay. All hey, right. It's some tough games. Some tough games out there. Um, what 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 matchup are you excited? Uh, you excited? Ferris, they were not robbed. How? This is the dumbest statement I've seen people make. <laughs> Ferris Virginia was robbed for fouling. They're gonna call fouls. How are they robbed? Yeah, no, I don't. Thank I don't God, Fer- you know. Robbed, thank they, God, they, Ferris they, is. They, hold they up. They, well. Thank God, Ferris is in here just to, <laughs> to talk. You know, I'm, I'm glad, but. Yeah, I'll send you the link first. Uh, no, I, I don't think it was. Uh, I don't think they got robbed or anything. I thought you know, West Virginia played well. They played hard, but they're just and not. They're yeah. just not good enough. Yeah. What what matchup are you excited? You're looking forward to uh, Hendo. I don't know about matchups, but I have a new favorite college basketball player, and her name is Juju Watkins. <laughs> First that time girl. six six USC has been this week sixteen since Cheryl Miller coach and Lisa Leslie was on the team. Jeez. Uh, that girl is balling, and there's another one. I don't want to say what school she's from, but her name is uh, Hannah. Yeah, and yeah, no, I don't like that either. Her name is uh, Hannah. Uh, uh, like what name the school? People were like, "Oh, why isn't she a finalist for the Player of the Year?" I'm like, "Cause fuck them. That's why." <laughs> Facts. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I, mean, I I got Audie Audie Crooks was really I, I was very impressed with what she could do. I was talking about her. Um, I thought um you know the girl from Utah played very well. She was you know it was like but it was it was exciting because all this weekend you just different names. I obviously mm-hmm. we know about Caitlin Clark. Obviously we know about Angel Reese. Obviously we know from the girl from South Carolina, but it was just refreshing like all these names because we're not talking about men's. NCAA. Nobody's talking about that. We like you're talking about at least legitimate looking at this at this Sweet Sixteen. There's like a star in every in every team. Paige Becker, Juju, um, Kitten Clark, like Paige. You know, Angel Reese, um, the girl from the girl from Stanford. Uh, the the girl from Notre Dame is really yeah, Hannah. Obviously, Anna. Okay. Oh, you don't like? Oh, is that who it is? I don't like. I don't like, like Notre Dame, Dame, but I like Hannah. I don't like Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame, you know, so it's like a star in, on every team, and we're getting we're almost to the elite eight, and then to, you know to the final four, and so I, I'm super excited about. It. What, what about you, Bronny? What's your anticipated matchup? What do you? What, which one are you most excited for? Um, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm excited to watch LSU at UCLA, uh, but I, I, yeah. I'm really, really looking forward to Stanford and NC State uh, to see more of Kiki. Ir- I'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce her name. Iriafen, I believe is, is how you say it. But she went off 
in their last year. Screw yeah. NC State. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's uh, about Tennessee. It's about Tennessee. So, Tennessee, but anyway. Tennessee, took a, Tennessee took themselves down when they, they, they played, really uh, when they didn't play defense at the three point line. Yeah, but he, he, was, double he, he was outstanding. So I'm looking forward to, to Stanford and NC State probably the most in terms of the matchup. Ferris, right. that's what happens when you foul. When you foul people, they're going to get the call. They did keep fouling, like they intentionally were fouling. Like, like come on, man! I know you. I know you watch basketball. I know you're a Knicks fan. And you're <laughs> not used to winning, <laughs> so you you wouldn't understand. But <laughs> ouch! No. Well, listen, I'm gonna say this: I haven't really watched college basketball like that in like 15 years. Like, I would tune into the tournament every now and again, but this weekend I watched all the women's games. Like everyone yeah. that came on TV, I watched them all, and then I watched Duke spank up on somebody real quick. The men's—that's about the only men's game that I watch. But that girl Crooks, like my my, my University of Maryland Terrapins—they went up twenty points, and then Crooks took over and won the game. I was so hurt. <laughs> I was so hurt. I'm like, God. I mean, I shouldn't because it's, that's, it's that's Maryland. Maryland basketball. It is Maryland, that's Maryland football. Mm-hmm. That's Maryland baseball. Yeah, it's that's Maryland, Maryland everything. Yeah, it's <laughs> Maryland. Except, except lacrosse. Yeah. You're right. Well, but you yes, women's, across. women's basketball, <laughs> shut your mouth. Women's basketball, women's college basketball is really exciting. And you could tell by the crowds that they're having that more people are starting to get into it because you're having these rivalries. You're having all of these star players. And for the women's game, they stay in college a little bit longer. So you get to grow with them. You get to know them a little more. I like the men that are one and done, except yeah. for. Except for Ferris's girl, I keep forgetting her name. She plays for LSU. She transferred to LSU and she's crap. Van Lee, uh, you doing Van Lee like that? Haley Van Lith, Lith Lee, whatever her name is. You're she not. You're like, not going to talk she, about Ferris's lady love like that. She right? played <laughs> like dog shit, and okay. then she was tired. I'm like, why are you tired? You spent most of the game on the bench. What's wrong with you? Wow, you, can't, so you transfer. You transfer over here for that. Well, look, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know ring. why. I don't know why you be giving. I don't know why you be giving out the link to the thugs and letting them come onto the show. But I guess I'll let. Why them are you giving? You giving my link? You know, y'all not. Wow, y'all not, y'all wow. Not, y'all wow. Not we just me. let. We just let anybody in here now, right? Yeah, y'all, up, not, y'all not gonna play me. Y'all What's not gonna up, play Paris? me. Okay. All right. I was. I didn't try to play nobody. No, nah, no. Nah, the host is trying to play somebody. Well, that that's true. You know, I know what I mean? The host is trying to play somebody. Of course, you know, the host, being a Lakers fan, sees a discrepancy okay, in free calm throws it down. and says, calm it down. you know what, I don't think <laughs> that's it down. fair. It is where we go off the rails. <laughs> just, just I, thought if you, I thought if you were going to talk about the free throws, you would have been talking about Oregon and Creighton. Oh, that was, yeah, that was. That's that was Oregon cool. didn't shoot a free throw until there were 27 seconds left in the game. Yeah, that was, that was. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. And, and they still took them to overtime. Well, yeah. Creighton took them to overtime. Oregon yeah, because yeah, or- Oregon should have won that game. Yeah, but you Ferris, know, how, yeah. how how you feel about this this March Madness? I know you have some feelings about Iowa and West Virginia. Go ahead and get it out. But nah, man. Okay, so like here's the thing: I was whooping their ass the entire game, right? And then the fourth quarter hit. Oh, what? The so fourth yeah, quarter hit, it. and Iowa is kind of letting the game and let the game away, and then West Virginia ties it up, and then when when it when they tie it up at that point. It goes seven zero fouls in favor of Iowa. So you telling me Iowa never fouled them? I saw Iowa foul West Virginia players throughout the end of the game, and they didn't call a single foul for, against Iowa. Good like thing. you know, some of the some of the foul calls on West Virginia, yeah, they were valid. It's true, but like you told me zero. You told me Iowa played perfect defense at the end of the game when I saw them clearly foul multiple West Virginia players. I'm gonna they, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something first. Okay? You know what I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna disagree with you. But being a Lakers fan, okay, <laughs> you, you and, me. Uh, and being and being a Duke fan, I'm very mm-hmm. familiar with my team getting calls. Uh, right. And what you witnessed was, we're not fucking up this Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Okay, no, I, I know what's happening. Yes, <laughs> and, I and, knew and, you know I was... what? and listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Underdogs are great. Everybody loves upsets. But I always say in March Madness. You want your Cinderella to head home around the Sweet Sixteen. You don't want to. You don't want them getting through. 
You don't yeah, you want give Cinderella them an elite in eight. the final four. Yeah, you give you them know. an elite eight. You and know, if, if they're a certain brand. Story. Yeah. yeah, if they're a certain brand. You, when you start getting down to to, to uh, I know you, I know you know what this is. Winning time. Uh, you want the <laughs> you want the top teams there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I I mean, they're looking at they're looking at Duke and saying, okay, you're kind of the Cinderella team. There's a seven seed. You know, everybody else is yeah. one or two and or well, five. The, the the funny part about that though is I was um. Ohio State star player Celeste Taylor transferred from Duke to Ohio State and said, Peace, losers. And Duke mm-hmm. said, Not so fast. <laughs> but first, I want to say this. Yes. Maybe Jay, get your boy off the team. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't. He should be. But listen, first, to your to your following, I understand all that. But also, West Virginia should have had better shot selection going down the stretch. No, yeah, their yeah. Shot selection so was it, terrible. It was pretty bad because because I were um found out that one of their shooters was was awful, so they sagged off for throughout the rest of the game. So I'm like, why isn't the ball in JJ Quinterly's hands? She was on fire. She was playing very well. She should have had the ball towards the end of the of the game. That's what I like about Iowa. I was like, okay, it's five minutes left. Get the hell out of CC's way. Get out of her way. Yeah, you know you can't you can't do that because I mean look at Oregon, yeah. right? Yeah. Second half is the the men's game. Second half yeah. against Creighton, two guys scored. I mean they they were late <laughs> late late in the in the second half. Uh, another guy scored one basket, but it was uh, Cuisinard and Dante, and that was mm-hmm. it. And, pick and roll the entire you know, time. They were running the pick and roll. It was unstoppable. And then Creighton's coach was like, "Wait a minute, maybe we should stop that." Yeah, and, <laughs> play, and high. Once, play high, play high, double. Yeah, once <laughs> and once they adjusted. Oregon couldn't do anything, mm-hmm. and their and their guys were you know Cuisinart was exhausted, you know Dante's not a you know I mean he can't do anything but rebound and dunk it, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 that's how they fell apart. You know you yeah, can't yeah. always. Dino. Those are all your guys. I mean, you know I meant Austin Reeves, bro. Uh, but yeah, I mean you, you can't. You're not gonna always be able to just go to your your star. Yeah, you gotta be able think, to get other people involved. Also, too, like Iowa, like played horrible down the stretch. Like the, literally, the difference was um, the seven, the seven, the seven to the seven to zero fouls. So, like they were given fourteen free throws, basically seven fouls, fourteen yeah. free throws. So some of them were intentional towards the ends because because they wanted to get the ball back. But like, like that was literally the difference because Iowa played like shit towards the end. You know why? Because yeah. they they see what's coming down the road. Like they they want to win. But they don't want to see LSU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, LSU's, LSU's gonna, gonna LSU's gonna no LSU's gonna beat the brakes off of them. Exactly. But the, they have no, LSU, LSU has a, no, LSU no, hasn't looked good at either. Let me, but, but the problem is, yeah. I don't think I don't think LSU beats UCLA. Wow. That's that's the thing. <laughs> How funny! Wow. I think I think I think I think Incredible. LSU I think UCLA has definitely the guard the guard advantage with Kiki Rice and Charisma Osborne. You know, you got talent with experience, and then you what also have girl? extreme talent. Huh? What about your what girl? girl? What girl? Lauren Betts? Haley Van Lith. Well, no, LSU. LSU got Haley Van Lith. Um, I know. I'm saying you said that, that UCLA has the, the guard advantage. I'm like, what about your girl? You're discounting her. She's not. She's she's cold. She's cold. She ain't she ain't and, doing nothing. And, and let me tell you something. She could she's dance. She's about to heat up. She been, she you know been throwing mean? up some TikToks. You know, so someone, someone said that, you know, sure. Haley Van Lith is the white woman they send to Martin Luther King to seduce him. You know, I understand. I mean, that, that joke. No, y'all no, you don't see that joke? Y'all don't see that joke at all? No. no I, I heard I heard you say the joke. I just don't know. I saw it on Twitter. It was on Twitter. You're I said I saw it on Twitter. You're, you're repeating something you heard on Twitter? You saw it yeah, on Twitter? Yeah, it was, it was, it was just interesting. Funny. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm chronically yeah. online. I apologize. Yeah. I have no life, really. Really, really. So uh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you have no life. Yeah. So with that being said, we're getting late night with Sugar Ferris. No. You just told on yourself. You said you you already promised that you were doing it, and you no, haven't I done. You going? Yes, to you her? did. Yes, you did. Yes, said, you did. Well, it wouldn't be late night. It'd be like afternoon. Okay, we don't whatever. Care An episode. You call it. Right. <laughs> I'm doing it right now with him. No, no, you're no not because we no. won't be there. Okay. Paris, okay. what, what matchup are you looking forward to coming up Friday and Saturday? What's your um, most anticipated matchup? Anything with the Wack 12? We have three of them last in the time Sweet 16. To, he's going to get to see them, bro. I know. Yeah, it's it's the last time. Why you got to be such a dick, dog? <laughs> three, you know? The Hendo's in a bad mood. Hendo's in a not a great mood. Wildly entertaining, man. Yeah, like. 
You can say they're not, you say they weren't, you know, always title contenders or whatever, but they were wildly entertaining. Facts. Um, St- um, Stanford UNC is, is pretty good. Because I, Sanaya Rivers is, is someone I'm going to be watching. She, whoa, uh, she whoa, 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 who? Sanaya Rivers. No, no, I'm no, sorry. NC State. Mm-hmm. NC State. Oh, oh Sanaya okay. Rivers. You said okay, UNC. You said UNC. Right. Oh, my bad. Sorry. That's she why I was apologize. saying Because I'm like, UNC I'm, got Bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, NC do, they, State, do they even exist anymore? No, they don't. In, in women's basketball, they kind of don't. You know, if you think about it, it's no offense to Deja Kelly. I apologize to you. All the offense. Yeah, well, kind of. Um, but yeah, um, she actually told, you know, Don Staley, I'm, I'm out. I don't want to be here. I'm going. I'm transferring. And people really are like, yo, what? Like usually, South Carolina girls they transfer after like four or five years, like Destiny Littleton. Because she wanted to get a master's degree from like USC, because she knows she may not make the league, so she needs other options. So like that's 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 that's. that's but Sanaya Rivers was the second best two guard in the nation, going to U, uh, South Carolina. And after a year, she was like, "Yeah, no, nah, I'm out. I'm gonna go make my own thing at NC State." And she did. And NC State is pretty good. And the one thing that's bad about Stanford is the guards, you know, sometimes aren't up to snuff. Mm. They have Hannah Jump. But after out of out of that, yeah, they got Cameron and Kiki. But they got the I was saying they got the front court though. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, really front unbelievable court. front court. That is true. Yeah. That can drop how, forty how they, any night. How do you feel like a lot of a lot of these women are declaring for the draft? Like you have the girl from Stanford, you have Caitlin Clark. You're probably gonna get Angel Reese. You're gonna get um, all these girls. You know, all these women going to the the NBA, WNBA. Um, like I said, each team looks like they have a star. How, how do you think the how this this sweet this March Madness is affecting the in, uh, the WNBA? I think it's huge for the WNBA here. Here for the I, I don't want to say that for the first time because there there have been you know obviously it was the stars big three in college basketball, but they're getting a lot of people who have a lot of eyes on them right now mm-hmm. who are who are, are building <clears throat> big time fan bases. Uh, and I think this is honestly going to be the first time that you see a, a lot of buzz and interest around the WNBA draft yep. and, and yeah. kind of going into the season. So I think it's great for the league. Jay, do not be re- disrespectful, okay? <laughs> We're not doing that. We are not doing I'm not even wow. bringing that comment up. Wow. I'm taking, wow. a matter of fact, I'm going to take a, I'm gonna take a wrench Brady. away. Hmm? Yeah, um, there there so was, was, it was all about Brady sustainability. <laughs> no, don't, I don't have the ability to do that. Don't do it. It's all about sustainability, really, because <laughs> there was this moment when the big three showed up. They called themselves the big three, they, like the media did. And Elena Della Don, Brittany Griner, Skylar Diggins, they all declared, and they went one, two, three in the draft. And it was like, it's going to usher a new age into the WMV. And it did for like a solid year and a half, two, and then it kind of tailed off. The problem with this is this is going to happen at the same time. Can you sustain it? Can it be mm-hmm. sustained? And that's always. Been I don't. The issue. I don't think that. Those, I think they sold them more than people were really interested in them. Yeah. Whereas I think that people are legitimately very interested in continuing to watch, especially Caitlin Clark. If we're being honest, right? Yeah, but yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to diss the big, the big three uh, players to talk about. But let's be honest. Like these these women have really like they're skilled like angel as much as people dog on angel reese like she's skilled she's can rebound the ball she's going to get better offensively caitlin clark is a is a just a baller uh all, the girl from stanford that she's she's good. yeah she's really good you know and whoever comes out if, when juju walker comes out like juju is juju Watkins or juju Watkins? Watkins. Watkins. when she comes out like she's amazing like you know, Canada, and yeah. you, you know, you got all these people coming out. They're, they're. I'm not saying like Brittany Griner wasn't skilled. She was to me. She just yeah, felt big. She she just big. Well, Elena Deladon and Skylar Diggins were skilled. Right. Elena they were skilled. was, was they, off the court more than on the court though. Right. <laughs> For a while. But they did. I, you know, as big as they were, I don't think back then they had the following in college basketball like these young ladies have today. Also, like, too, people are vested. In, yeah. in what they're doing. Also, the big three did have um, other barriers to fight against. Of course. More, you know? Yes. 
You, know, you can say it. You don't have to be... Okay. One of them, well, it was two lesbians and a black woman, yes. you know? So America capped their popularity because the, the, one of the problems the WNB also faces, people are like, what is the problem with it? Is that sexism, homophobia, racism, like the, 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 the trifecta of the isms that the WNBA has to fight. You know what I mean? That's why they're, that's why they're so happy that Caitlin Clark and Sabrina are here. You know what I mean? Cisgendered white women, you know, they're like, oh my God, thank the Lord. Who can, who can play? Who can play? Who can play? They're ballers. They're ballers. But that also, like, they're Larry Birds in a sense where they ball, they're white, everyone loves them. They don't really, they're not that controversial. <clears throat> and they know they're being used in a sense. And they know they're not, I know they're not stupid. They know what they're being used. But, you know, so that's going to help the WB in a sense because money's money. They're in the, they're in the, it's, they don't care about people's feelings. They want to make money. Cause at mm -hmm. the end of the day, the only color matters is green, you know, green Except from a rate, you know, gotta yeah. disagree. Gold all day. Gold. Yeah. That's a cool point. Yeah. yeah gold. Now, I'm going to say for this season, Lake of gold. now I'm going to say this upcoming season, it depends on if Angel Reese comes out. If she does, it's going to be black and white. Cause now they have the yeah. female magic bird. They're going to try to use that dynamic. And push mm -hmm. the WNBA forward if she comes she out. She could. She's a junior. She could, so she's eligible. But she could also come back like Paige. Paige is coming back because of the two injury seasons. Me, she's getting she's getting a fifth. Let me ask you this, Paris. Do you think uh the the Washington Post article is going to play any factor into whether or not she comes back or goes to the <laughs> No, because she <laughs> she Kimoki's been a has been a, people have hated Kimoki since she's been at Baylor. People think she's been a piece of shit for years. And this is what but if it's something that actually gets her out of LSU, do you think? Yes, Angel Reese will go back. Yes, no, 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 no. She's declaring. Okay. If I was there, I would declare because you don't need. Hey, it. they were they were showing highlights of of the coach from LSU when she played for, and she was tiny, but she was baller. She used to wear oh, yeah, she, she had some two so, two yeah, little braids. From, yeah, Louisiana Tech. So Louisiana Tech, yeah. I think prior to. 2018, them and Tennessee were the only two women's programs to make the NCAA tournament every single year. And then Louisiana Tech missed yeah. it one year. You know who you know who she beat? Tennessee's she the beat only one. Tennessee's the only she one. She beat she she beat USC. Yeah, I think yeah, with Sharon Miller on that team. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Louisiana Tech with Kim Mulkey as a guard, they were they were good. Back in the day, yeah. Louisiana Tech was good. Yeah. Back in the day, <laughs> they didn't even wear real jerseys. They were they were they were buttoned up shirts and yeah. shorts. Yeah. <laughs> How do you play in those? That's that's what they wore. I know. Like I'm not know. even joking. I know. Wasn't, I wasn't know. even jerseys. It was buttoned up shirts and and shorts. Like, sure. how you playing? How you got a jumper in that? Um, I think that's why Kim Mulkey wanted Haley. She because she thought Haley was her, but I don't think Haley's her. They don't play. The, they never played the same. And you know who, who's your final four affairs? Um, well, I didn't I didn't make a bracket this year, so I'm just going off cold. Yeah. Um. God damn, I gotta no, hold up, let me bring it up. Sorry, man, I gotta bring it up. I gotta bring it up because I can't like pick if I yeah, mess no up if I mess up my thing. All right. Yeah. What do y'all? What is y'all? I was gonna say you could, you could, you could, you could ask somebody else. Yeah, you could. Well, I mean, we 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 did we did our brackets, and I think we all did, did we did our picks. I think Hendo's was was uh, LSU or what was the final four? I think he said LSU, Iowa, South Carolina, and I think he said for the bottom. Did you say USC? Yes. No. That one. Yes. USC. No, but they were they're on the same side as um yes, as Iowa. Oh. Yeah, so I'll, or LSU. I'll you, know, go... you said you're right. You're like LSU, USC, South Carolina. Who's your who's your four team? Um, who's another bracket? Uh, the other X... bracket is Texas and Gonzaga. Uh, Texas, um, Stanford, um, yeah. Texas. Yeah. What was yours, Bronny? Well, I picked Utah as my kind of sleeper, kind of Cinderella team to get to the Final Four. That didn't happen. They were out in one. <laughs> uh, but my other three, South Carolina, LSU, and USC, and I have LSU beating South Carolina in the championship. Finally makes sense why Utah looked so flat in their game yeah. against Gonzaga after that report that came out today. Makes sense. What was that, what was that report, Ferris? So 
they they're playing in Spok the Spokane region, so they they're playing at Gonzaga's home stadium, but they put them in a hotel room in like northern Idaho, and you know the the um the girls were you know go at like checking in, and they were then racially abused by a couple of white supremacists and neo Nazis revving like th- revving up their engines, kind of like threatening them and like yelling the n word at them, like multiple of them, and then. They were, and then, and then they came out out of breakfast, and it happened again. I think it was like, like, so then they had to like move the team out of Idaho into Spokane afterwards, and then they had to play a game like the next day. I don't know why you put anything in Idaho to begin with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And in, in like the way they switched the, the, ho- they're like, oh, we didn't have enough hotel rooms in the region. So I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, like you couldn't find another hotel room in Washington? You had to like, send them to you, Idaho. But you knew this was coming for a year. Exactly. And it was 30 miles away from Spokane. So you, you sent them 30 miles away from Spokane. 30 miles. And that's a 30, hot that's 30 minute drive. drive. Well, I understand. 30 miles? Yeah, 30 miles. Yes. Depends, on how fast you drive. Depends on how fast you drive. Depends on how fast if you drive. Lights, if you're, if you're driving 30 miles an hour, you're going to get there in an hour. It's going to take 30 minutes. Might, that's might, a, that's a, you know, a valid point. Yeah, if there's, no, if there's nothing to slow you down ever. Yeah. Right. And Again, my thing is this, in Idaho, my, what is slowing you down? Potatoes? White, white, white supremacists. Well, white, white supremacists. Yeah, wait, yeah at, that was at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. but, um, so, you but, don't know what's on the road. You so, know who's hiding in the bushes. So they tell them this incident, and they quickly move them to a closer hotel room. So I'm like, why don't you guys put them in that hotel room in the first place? In the first place. Right. So I'm confused here. You know what I mean? So, you know. And, is. and so Ferris a, is never confused. I don't think it's that confusing. I think it's a little bit of they're playing in the other team's home stadium and they want to make them uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? You know, they probably, I mean, I'm not saying they wanted that to happen, but, you know, they want to have them have a longer drive, a, a less yeah. comfortable stay, blah, blah, blah. You know. So I'm going to go U.S. USA, Stan- Mexico, um, Stanford, United Vir- United States Virgin Islands. Well, you, 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 yeah, you froze. You froze. Don't look Freeze confused. Again. Don't look <laughs> confused. <laughs> why you look? Why are you confused, Ferris? Why are you looking at us like that? Stop looking at me like that. Okay, Ferris is frozen. <laughs> we'll get we'll get back to Ferris once he yeah, gets that's back. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Let's just say we oh, did. Man. There he is. All right, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Very okay. mean people. So my bracket, I'm gonna go for the top. I'm gonna go South Carolina, and damn, it's Iowa. I was definitely beating Colorado. Well, actually, no. We just asked for your final. We asked for your final four. Yeah. I know, I know. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Final four. Just pick four teams first. All right, so I'm going. I'm going South Carolina, U, UCLA, USC, and. Texas. I hate Max Ferris. Okay. Brian, what was yours again? Oh, you already said. No, Mac, no, Mac. You yeah. said, no, 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 no. All right. Now, I'm glad we have Ferris here because this could be awesome. Oh, it's my, everything it's my... is awesome when Ferris is here. Damn. Yeah, I need to go, I need to go break my fast. Awesome. All right. Okay. Well, you go eat, Ferris. That's more important. There, there, there's also, mm-hmm. there's also another March Madness. There's also it's another March Madness, Splatoon. and that is the NCAA wrestling tournament. And oh, you talking about that? You talking about that? It's- I don't want to see that. No, I have never been splayed. Oh when you said wrestling, he I had, talk about. I he had really, that man. Yeah, I was watching the whole thing, expecting something really bad to happen. He he had that <laughs> man looking like a cornhole ball ball uh, board, like just. I look at, I, but here's the thing that was hilarious because I've seen it happen in real life because I wrestled, but the comments under videos were hilarious. Uh, one girl was watching it on. Um, at the at a bar, and she goes and she 
And she said, <laughs> and she said, she's like, my man had me like this last night. Somebody else was like, if you ever did that to me, as soon as we get, you let me go, we're getting up and fighting. Like it was just some great comments under that. And that used to be called the banana split. They, you know, obvious reasons, uh, but they changed it now to the Spoleto. It's it's just a movie, and it, it's a more of an embarrassing move because you can't really do anything. They can't really pin you, so you just kind of sit there with your. Yeah, I was wondering why, how long they were going to let him sit there. Oh, you sit there the whole time. They say when most people try to get out of that move, that's when their shoulders hit the mat. But because he just yeah, he try to rock it. Yeah, because he stayed there. That's why it didn't happen. And they commended him for some reason because they said that hurts. And he stayed. In that oh yeah, yeah, for a long time. And they oh said yeah, he stayed you, there for a long time. So I, I was in high school. Some some kid tore his uh, whatever this is right uh, there, right in the um, his in groin. the inner thigh. His groin, yeah, all tore all that up. I see. I he was screaming in pain because your your legs are not supposed to bend that wide open, like. You know, P. Diddy was watching from the from the God stands. Damn. Just look at that big red. All this Yukon disrespect is crazy. Yukon disrespect. Look at, look look at disrespect. Paige Beckers. I like Paige Beckers. I like Paige. But look, go look at Paige Beckers. Go look at Caitlin Clark. Look at Ju- Juju. Look at Angel Reese. Bro, she looks like a stick compared to these guys. Like at least Haley has some <laughs> girth to her. No, she Stop doesn't. it, bro. Stop no, it. Bro. Yo, yes, she does. No, Stop she it, Yes, she does. Stop it, shit. What do you mean? What the that that's a wrestling move, dude. There were some great wrestling matches this weekend. Another one. You know, I, it wasn't one. Oh, there was, there, oh, but did you see the rock beat the shit out of Cody on Monday Night Raw beat the, <laughs> made him bleed? It was great. Uh, yeah, with the fake blood. We haven't had blood. We haven't had blood on Raw since God knows when. <laughs> Kept calling him boy, too. <laughs> It was it was kind of like racially motivated. Like he, heel heel <laughs> rock is the best rock. Yeah, it was pretty good. He, he had him bleed. I cannot wait uh, for WrestleMania though. I really can't. I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a, a pre-show. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, Raw was fantastic. Uh Rhea Ripley going after Becky Lynch saying that uh Becky Lynch's daughter's gonna be calling her mommy. Uh was pretty personal. <laughs> CM Punk showed up and they were going uh, at it. So uh, Rollins was there. A lot of per- a lot of personal insults were being thrown around. Good. It was like really wild. And then The Rock just cussing up a storm, uh, making Cody bleed, taking taking a belt that said Mama Mama Rhodes on it, which was pretty funny. Like, you know, go go ahead and name who called you the chosen one. <laughs> um, who I don't remember who. I, who, I, who, I know. Man. I know they. I know he he asked Muhammad Ali's family if he could be called the greatest of all the great the great one, but yeah, I don't think it was chosen one. But that's okay. Oh, oh, oh! Punk said that. Okay, I didn't watch that part of the episode. I just watched the Rock. So my apologies. Uh, yeah, they're giving you a preview of what's go- what's going to go on Netflix. Have you, okay, did you guys see? I, I I think Jay posted it in the thing about how the first game is going to be on Peacock. And not even yeah. regular TV. Are we moving away from just regular TV? Like we've moved away from cable. Handle can attest to this because you know, and we're kind of moving away from regular TV. Like you know, just yeah. I don't. We're, I don't we're watch just straight. regular TV unless it's live sports. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But even it's then, we're just going to move into. We're going to like you. You can have uh, Peacock. You can have Prime. You can no, have all those. Peacock. I got Peacock. Uh, so that's what I want. Peacock. Because what's his name was was paying for it, right? But nobody wants Peacock. Maybe. No, nobody, nobody wants it. it. Nobody wants Paramount Plus. That's true too. Because no, it's the same wants, company. You know, nobody wants a lot of these stream platforms, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Big Red says Drew McQueen was named the chosen one originally by Vince McMahon way back when he he was first to WWE. Yeah, I will be definitely doing uh. A WrestleMania uh, tailgating show for both nights. I know Big Reg is going to be joining me. I know King Kingslayer is going to be joining me. Possibly um, Kingslayer. He he does a wrestling show. Um, you know him from the look, Twitch chat. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Don't look so excited, uh, Hendo. I'm not. Um, you should be because wrestling is back. Yeah, that's right. Next thing you know, Ricky the Steam, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's gonna be coming out. Hendo's gonna lose his mind. No, I'm not because he probably looks old as heck. 
No, no, he does. I've seen him. Yeah, he he's old. Yes, right? Delish, like, yeah, yeah, I should, yeah, I think Delisha should be coming on. Uh, streaming services giving out the digital coupons. Yeah, and then they're taking away the ability to let your stuff be shared with other family members. It's <laughs> kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but it is what it not, is. It's not ridiculous, but it is. It is it ridiculous. Is. It is ridiculous because I, listen, I, I pay you for like with Netflix. I pay you for four screens. What do you care where the screens are? This is true. Exactly. But hold up. I know me, Hendo, and Bronny are old enough to remember this. Remember the black box, the cable, black cable box, mm-hmm. the black and brown cable box. Yep. When you saw somebody had that 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 house, first off, my my first thought was, how can I stay up late and everybody go to sleep? Because <laughs> <laughs> because HBO HBO late night was going to be you know what was it uh, uh, what was it Cinemax Cinemax what was it for the late night one Cinemax. Though? Skinamax, Skinamax, like HBO. Let me tell you something about HBO late night. I remember being 15 years old and I put it on. I was so excited, and you know, things were gonna happen. And then I watched a, I watched a whole damn show on this woman that had services, and she talked about how men paid her to do some wild stuff. And I just, I sat there watching that whole thing. And they remember they used to do where they would follow. You should not have been watching that. Yeah, and they would follow him on the street, like, and mm-hmm. then they would go do. It was I was fifty years old, Real wild, sex. wild. I was like, this is amazing. And then we watch with we watch Spawn afterwards, uh, the Rated R, which was amazing. Also, that that Spawn was dope. That Spawn was um, horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jay, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Things were going to happen. You damn right they were. <laughs> Because he didn't know what. (laughs) Taxi Cab Confessions was a good one too. Taxi Cab Confessions was a good one, Um, and then Cinemax had the uh, had the soft um, movies. Had the soft one. Yeah, it was soft one. It was it was it was was great. But then if you were poor like my family was, you had to do the whole squiggly with the the squiggly. (laughs) (laughs) You had to make the you scratch your eyes and make it out. Oh, I thought I saw something. <laughs> what was that, was that a nip? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> yeah, the HBO uh, uh, animated spawn was amazing. So glad I stayed at the I had the door stop. <laughs> I had a door stop, yeah. Oh god, the things we used to do back <laughs> in the day. My my homie my homie had the the box and uh, I remember go, we were about well, fifteen sixteen would go to his house on Friday because his parents would leave for the weekend and we would watch um, the Mike Tyson fights on Saturday and then his dad would leave alcohol so we we're like fifteen sixteen years old drinking one or two beers and be all tore up off of one or two beers watching Mike Tyson fights being all excited and then UFC came along you no know, you want to know what used to be the best. When I started working for this cable company, right? In the beginning, this cable company was, the way they did things was a little bit off. So what they did was they had all the boxes that we needed in a storeroom. And you just went and put the boxes up and just put your initials where the boxes that you signed out. But what happened was the boxes were already ready to go. So if you just took a box and plugged it up, you got HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, you got all of them. And all the pay-per-views worked. It's just when you put it on somebody's account, it shut everything off, boxes. which is which is backwards, ass backwards. Ass backwards to me. So what guys would do is they would take a box out, rent thousands of dollars worth of pay per view movies, and then return the box and go get a new one. So That's we used fun. to get all the fights for free, all the movies for free. I'm like y'all crazy. You, remember, you, remember, you see remember, how remember, that show? You see how he did that? <laughs> he said what they used to do, and then he was like, "We would get the free the fights for free." And he's like, "I mean, was crazy. I mean, I mean, I would watch." <laughs> Listen, I'm a fool if I, I'll be a fool if I'm not gonna watch for free. I don't care how you got this box or how you got this pay per view. To my knowledge, I don't know. I'm watching. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know how you got that box. In. Hey, do you I remember paying that. cable guys though extra money to be like, "Yo, can you?" You gotta do something pay, listen, for me. So, so the crazy part is, in the beginning, they used to have these traps called three, four, five traps. And what happens would it would block certain channels, like channel three, four, and five, which was the pay per view channels before digital cable came along. And 
99 percent of the time when we had a service call the traps went bad and people would come outside and be like oh, i'll give you 50 dollars you take this trap off and we like we got to take this trap off anyway it's not any good and we don't have any more at the shop and people used to make money just off of taking oh, yeah. the trap off or climbing yeah. up the pole and connecting it back up for people yeah I wish who, I was who, remember remember doing concerts on pay-per-view my, I, no, remember no, my yeah. I remember Nobody. my mom throwing part i remember i wish i was one of the people i had okay. listen i had okay. guys that the, i had guys that came in to work after me and dre can tell you this that guys that came to work years after i did and they out here buying boats and houses and brand new cars and i'm like i can't afford this stuff how the hell can y'all they were the ones out there selling all that stuff i wish i would now if i knew what i knew now and how that company treated me I wish I would have. I would have done that stuff. Yeah, he, he's a good employee. He shows up on time, doesn't call out sick. I will tomorrow, work. though. Because mm. I'm not feeling well, as you can see. You look like you look it. Looks at the ceiling, Brady. Oh, because he said you look sick. Hey, so look at look at Jay, look at Jay. And my brother wonders how how I'm good at this, the the uh, the same people footsteps. footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> We were poor. We had carpet, so <laughs> you just had to you just had to be quick with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are disgusting. My pops would pop off those traps himself because it was in a gr in ground. A lot box. of them, were, a lot of them were in the ground in the boxes, and people didn't know that. But you, some people, you needed a, a special tool to get it out. I remember. You, I remember when L. You live at Home Depot. I remember when LOL came out, and. That that uh no diddy is that our new saying no diddy, <laughs> um when AOL came out and yeah sit there and wait and then if someone picked up the phone and messed everything up it just took all your internet out uh, and then I I remember my mom would go to bed and I'd be on the internet AOL till like four in the morning doing God knows what on there yeah we know what things you know. I should damn I was I was I was getting pirate I was getting pirated videos. Limewire, remember Limewire destroyed yeah. everybody's yeah. Lime destroyed wire, people. Bear, bear share, all that good stuff. Uh, Napster, mm -hmm. I, I had a Napster. Limewire was the worst because you didn't you didn't know what you were downloading. Okay. You were like, is this, is this the, is this the Kim Kardashian video? I hope so because <laughs> well, I'm sorry. All I was downloading was music. Apparently, you were downloading I'm, something I, else. I bet you were. Man, Ando was just he's just a saint. I was, no no no. Oh, I was I was stealing music for Bear Share like you, it was illegal. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, mean, dude, I I, I miss going movie. to the video. I miss going to the video stores with my mom and getting two movie, two movies, getting something to eat, going home and watching those movies. I remember when, because my I used to go to stay with my dad on the weekends, um, and Brian always makes fun of me of this. He would always rent um, for me Street Fighter with John, John Claude Van Damme, and I would watch that movie every weekend with my dad. That's right, be so excited. Thank you, Brandon. That's why you have such bad taste in movies now. It's a great Thanks. movie, don't you? And it was the best of us sometimes. Thanks, sometimes it is. Um, it's crazy. funny because, like, you know, everything is much more convenient now, and you so know, you can just you can just click on to whatever and just watch whatever movie you want to watch. And all we do with the all the extra time we have is look at stupid videos on TikTok and don't Twitter. We, don't we? We have access to everything. We we, we are all worthless. We just watch <laughs> renting renting videos. I remember renting. I remember renting. Uh, uh, N64 games from Blockbuster. Listen, I remember used to thinking, well, at a period of time that I was one of the luckiest men on earth because I didn't know at the time, but I was purchasing purchasing myself just technology on, upon technology. Come home from work one day, I see a CD burner. I'm like, yo, what is this? I'm sorry, a DVD burner. My ex-wife was like, yo, all the TV shows you miss while you at work, you can just burn on the DVDs. I'm like, bet you are the best wife. Until I got an invoice that I had to pay for and realized I paid for this. It wasn't the best gift. At all. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. You know, me and my best friend, and this is, we're just going way off topic here. So he got for Christmas when we were 15. He got a dual uh, VCR recorder. So it was two mm -hmm. VCRs. We used to go to pick and save, and you could get 99. What did his parents think play, he was going to do with that at 15? Playing. Right. Well, here's the here's the best part. So we get blank, uh, blank uh, VCR uh, cassettes for ninety nine cents a pick and save. And then we used to go to the movie movie uh, video store, and they thought we were eighteen. So we would all go to run to the back, rent movies, dub them, and then sell them. 
and we sold them for five bucks a pop. We were making money, but I'll never forget. I was in high school. And somebody found out, and they're like, and then someone somehow some someone got to me and was like, dude, you got to get rid of them. The teacher's coming, and I remember going to the trash can behind the PE behind the PE gym, and dumping and about thirty tapes, <laughs> dumping them in there. <laughs> and they came to my locker. And they were like, yeah, where where are these tapes? I'm like, oh, what tapes? My backpack's empty. <laughs> That, that was that was the thing back then. Game GameFly ripped you off though, because if you didn't turn the game back, they they freaking they would wait a minute, just wait a destroy minute. you. No, they, you just tell them you, you're not sending it back yet. And no, but if you kept it for so long, they would charge you for it. Only if but you how- told them that you didn't, if you lost it or whatever. Yeah, but they still charged you. But but I'm not remember you. Could, I'm not understanding shit. You saying that getting you, but you're paying for a product. That they gave you, and you're not returning it, so they're the bad guy because you didn't return their product. But that's what I'm they don't they don't charge you if you just keep it because your 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 plan is hey I I get however many games at a time, and you can keep it as long as you want. If you it's once you tell them hey I don't have it anymore or I, I you cancel your service order, then you get charged. But well, yeah, that's I, that's what that's what happened. I canceled my service. Okay, well you, you give see, them back their property. See, but you're a thief. You're, no, you're saying it, it like it was just like it was just a, a right. part of the service. It was part of the service. They're no, supposed to let me keep no, it. Sir. Shout out to Redbox. You, though, it I got, you just tell them it was lost, and they would they would charge you. Yeah, shout out to Redbox because Redbox lets you, lets you use prepaid cards. That's mm. how I got Skyrim. Spoiled to the tenth power. Game Five was dope until Game Pass came around. Yeah, Game Pass has been just just out of. I don't even know why I never had Game Pass. This has been, but I don't even play half the well, games. Yeah, look, how, look how bitter and jealous Hendo looks now over there playing playing his PlayStation. He ain't got no Game Pass. He don't know what it's yeah. like. But, he, but he, you know what he does have is a PlayStation Guess, Five. Guess what I'm buying tomorrow? Too. Guess what I'm buying tomorrow, Shug? What, what you buying tomorrow, Hendo? Rise of the Ronin. No, you're not. Just because. Oh, real quick, let's yeah, let's talk about Otani real quick. What there's a lot real of quick. It's we're already. Uh, no, I mean, it's it's right. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to talk yeah, about. I want to talk about this. We already went we already off talked the about this. Like we talked about Otani before. Well, no, no. Have you heard about, about his Monday. interpreter? You talk about his interpreter now that his qualifications are false. That Who cares? A, That's his best, like you said. Like you stated last week, this is best friend. Oh, you he don't. He don't. Wait, wait, he don't know Japanese. Right. No, but he doesn't have a degree. Wait, he, he, he don't. He don't know English. He knows English. I thought he knows like English. He's qualified to them. <laughs> Sounds like he's pretty goddamn qualified. But you got. But you got. You got to have. You got. No, you don't. You. <laughs> you got to have a degree. A personal, he's a personal interpreter. He doesn't have to have any qualifications. Well, actually, well, actually, what they're finding out is like he put down that he worked for the Boston Red Sox. They worked for Boston. He worked for there was another team didn't work for them. Listen, listen, listen. First sure, of all, listen. I didn't say Oomst, the Boston Red Sox. Most among <laughs> us has never lied on their resume. Thanks. Me, I've never lied. Y- you're lying. Resume. You're lying right now. Yeah, I'm not. I always tell the truth on my resume. You don't tell the truth in real life. So what do you mean on a resume? I always tell the truth. What are you talking about? Mm. Are you looking at me or are you looking at the camera? I'm looking at you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, gotta confirm if you're looking at me or not. We're not going two hours. It's, these guys are barely. It's an hour and thirteen minutes, and they're and they're getting angry. I'm not angry. I'm They're not angry. getting angry. You guys, you guys must be hungry. Are you guys? I'm hungry. Uh, I haven't. I have not been able to eat. Those are facts, right? Well, there. that's not that's not our fault. You decide to eat grass all day. Yeah. 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 What are you eating? What are you gonna What are you gonna eat? I told him, you know, like we were talking about the candy. Like he just. He just gives a pile of grass, pour some honey on it, and he don't need to be in the thread talking about what candy he misses. I don't eat honey. Wait. You don't you don't eat organic honey? No, Wait, I don't uh, eat vegan. Honey, honey to, to some honey's vegan, to some it's not. And Why? he doesn't eat vegetables. Too well, because you know, bees uh, produce honey, bees produce honey naturally. Yeah. So of course nobody's forcing them to, so of course it would be vegan. But for some reason, some people feel like, oh no, the labor. Do you want to? Do you want to know why that is, Hendo? Because <laughs> vegans just have a victim complex. <laughs> they may have. I personally, I don't eat. I don't eat honey because it's bee regurgitation. That's the only reason I don't eat it. Oh, okay. We, 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 never mind. Eric. My friend once called it bee shit. 
What's going on with my Steelers? My Steelers are making moves. Well, Why did it sound like, like a director. porn porn director? Because because he has directed porn before. If y'all didn't know, mm. for real? Mm-hmm. Yes. Damn, I, I should have known that. That's why. That's this is why we trying to get you to do an OnlyFans, and he refuses to do it. I try to do a show. If Paris can vouch for us, I try to do a show where we review adult oh movies. No, and that's not. That's I, not what the and idea. I'm telling was. you. That's I'm telling you. It would have been. A, it would have been a, a hit. And Ferris just kept fighting me on it. <laughs> that's not what the idea was. So, so go fuck yourself. They got Chica B's Russ as a bus. Mm. Haas Russ as a bus. Mm. Who's Elijah what? Randall? Uh, Elijah? On Facebook. Why are you watching it on Facebook, dog? Right. Because I'm maybe because it's more. Con- maybe because it's more convenient. Oh, 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 you defended Elijah, but you wouldn't defend Matt Thomas when I was after him? I didn't see anything with Matt Thomas, but Ah. I'm not defending Elijah. I'm defending people's freedom of choice first. They don't have to, like, they don't have to be, they don't need YouTube dictators coming on here to tell them where they need to watch stuff. Well, you know, Ferris, he likes to dictate. You know, he gets to fire people. Not a YouTube dictator. Yeah, Yeah. 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 he fires people the way they sound, you know, for the way they sound. The way they look, for the way they look, the way they look. I prefer Shogun. I'm a Shogun. Dig after Dark, absolutely. Uh oh, here we go. This, this. Uh, what about Lamar and Big Games? You know, it's not. It's not really good trolling if you just say random stuff that's not connected to anything that anyone's talking about. Yeah, like we're talking about March Madness. I see. There's no, we're not. <laughs> oh. But well, I, see I left. I see. I see. There's a reason why you are on Facebook. Let's see why now. <laughs> oh, look at you now. Oh ago. snap! Baylor still yeah, there. That's you, crazy. You were public defender. I was. Uh, yeah. real, real quick, the Lakers did win the game. Yes, Double over time. How? How? Austin. Oh, Austin. Austin. Austin Powers. Austin Austin yeah, baby. We do. Who can have a triple double and still play like shit? <laughs> unappreciative. All right, we're about to get out of here. I'm unappreciative. Because... I'm just saying. We're about to get out of here. So real quick. Kendo, let the people know where they can find you and follow you and see all your great content that you never invite me to. Damn. You know what, Chuck? You're gonna you're gonna co-host any given Sunday this week. Nope. <clears throat> Honestly, you you need to fix you need to fix the notifications because I have you on notify and they should tell me that you're on. Also, it's called any given Sunday sorry. now. I'm sorry. Know. I'm sorry. Let me let me get my YouTube tools, and I'll be right on that. that I mean, you were able you were able to get monetized again. Yeah. So can you call YouTube grounding. and fix it? I sure will. Intentional grounding is a show that he started and gave up on. That was doing that was doing a week. Intentional grounding was doing a week, but Brian it was like, "We're doing too much," so I had to give it up. No, that's not what happened. I started working and could not do a live show. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. We started working yeah. and we couldn't do a live show. Handel's gonna I be mean, doing a live show, uh, possibly every every day though at nine a.m. No, no, Real I'm not. keen on that idea. No, I'm not. Is that not what you what you had said to me? I didn't say I was. I said I thought about doing an a.m. show to try to get into that a.m. market. You said we should do a nine a.m. every. See, when people are lying, they start freezing. I didn't freeze. You did freeze. It's like you froze. My mom told. Like when you start hiccup, hiccuping, she know you stole something. <laughs> your, your your mom told you that because you stole enough for her to to know what you see right get your, to get your locked in on your your pattern your tells. Yeah, right. I guess so. Even though I never stole anything. Oh, okay. That's a lie. Okay, that's a okay. My buddy, you're right. I have stolen some stuff. Yeah, you never from my mother. I mean, he saw my show. So why? All oh, right, you can find me at the bro pod. I'm not, oh. not going to dig and find that with a response. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Stole the net. I just had to say it. You, you threw the lava, Ferris. What am I supposed to do? I'm that's not the point. New York Knicks. You know what? That's a good okay? point. <laughs> we won yesterday, by the way. Yeah. Why Dante okay. dropped 40 points? Vincenzo setting records. Yeah. Did uh, did Kamara and Anthony want to come to the Knicks? You know what? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having this debate with you again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing and it. And we're gonna be full fighting. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Who hasn't stole? Apparently, Hendo has never stole anything. That's a lie. Yeah, he stole my. He stole my my theme music. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, you purchased that. You purchased what, that music. What, 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 what happened? It's from the YouTube library. It's from the YouTube library. I stole you. Right. <laughs> uh, see, speaking of a lob, right there. There's a lob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was pretty speaking, good. Speaking of a layup, you know what I mean? It was, was alley oop. Bang. <laughs> it really wasn't. Alley oop. <laughs> Where's your soundboard, Ferris? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Endo. <laughs> you can find me on the road pod. What day? Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Time. What about what about your show with Yolanda? I don't have a show with Yolanda. What about hanging with show? <laughs> hanging with Hendo. Oh, Saturday nights. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash R U G. You want to participate? Hang with Hendo every Saturday, 7, 8 p.m., where we get together. The patrons get to come on. We discuss whatever you want to discuss for as little as five bucks a month to support the channel. Appreciate it. So you don't so you're not, you know, with her on the show that you want about the beet juice. Life with Yolanda? Mm -hmm. Yolanda has two channels. I'm no, I'm not. Mm. Why do you get so annoyed when we ask you a question? We're just trying I to was get asking, I was just asking a question. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not. What, why do you assume I'm annoyed first? I'm so oh, sure. I, you know, I don't say that. Yeah. I mean, sure. I'm telling sure. Oh. Hmm? The tone, the tone of your voice, the, the look on your face. I, just, I can't hear everybody. Tone and word choice. <laughs> word <laughs> choice. Yes, sir. I see. I said. Do you talk to the people on the phone like that? Yes. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You you want me sitting in on your calls tomorrow? You <laughs> can. Yeah. And you'll hear me. What up? Yeah. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Look, I need you to slide me some info real quick. Hold on. Hold on. I have a question for Ferris. I have a question for Ferris. Ferris. Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Um. Uh. What the hell is that? That's weird. So easy. Um, what are you? Right. So, so the message just popped up. Um, no, never mind. I ask you, I'm like, right. like squirrel, <laughs> <Yeah>. Doug, <laughs> Rodney. Where Dude. do people can find you and your great oh, on lunch break hot take, right? And then on like the Wednesdays at 7 15 p.m. Eastern time, uh, and then on the overtime show for the patrons after that, um, and then sometimes some other places. Are y'all just like so. Bland with your I don't I just I don't like it's so long because I'm on too many shows. I don't like I want to I want to say all of it. All right, I'm gonna yeah. get rid of some you, you, you need to get off some of these shows. Like the Wednesday, great, the great calling is coming. I think I think Wednesday you need to cut out. Just cut it out. Wow. <laughs> stick to Mondays, stick to Tuesdays, six to Saturdays. Why why would Monday be one of them? <laughs> that's your favorite that's your favorite show. Is it? Yeah, it is. It seems that we I'm not know. a Ravens fan, but you have Ravens knowledge. I don't care. I'm not a Ravens. I, remember, fan. I am. I am really upset though. You guys haven't shown off what I got you guys. Yes, we did. We did you several there. times. Several times. Where? When was this? On the show. <laughs> the first show we did after we got them. Oh, I showed them up, I, and I we should. We and we pulled it. That's up why twice. we told you that MDT was asking about how to get one. Where do you think? Wait, you was started? it was what was this on your show, LBHT, or was it Hendo's show? It was they Hendo's haven't show. done a show it was yet. The first okay. show since we okay. got them. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Okay. You I just want to make sure I see them tomorrow. No you, no, you definitely not getting more rain. That's right. It's my wow. Wow. Right. Wow. Where are you acting? Right. Wow. You acting? What's up, Ray? What's going on? That call. Wow. Okay. That's Carlton with the Steelers. What? Wait a minute, what? Yeah, that's what that's called to with the Steelers. And the Steelers nice. That must be Russell Wilson. It's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was uncalled for. Appreciate, appreciate you, Russell Wilson, for coming out and hanging out with us tonight. Listen, I'm sorry you about There's, the about Justin Fields. I don't think, think that he's gonna call it intentional grounding, Jay, and I'm not gonna be there. 
Call it intentional like grand. Oh, Monday, new. Monday through Monday through Friday, we can still yeah. call it intentional grand and get the crew, get the well, band I mean, back we, together, get the old band back together. You can call That's it right, whatever you want. You we can be doing brought, it yourself. We brought. <laughs> I'm waking up at <clears throat> nine o'clock to talk to these people. No, you gonna wake up at eight forty-five. <laughs> what? You gonna wake up at eight forty-five? Even better. The fuck I am. <laughs> Paris, where can the people find you and all the content you do? Yeah, you can find me on the Let's Get Ready Network channel. Um, we have a sports show every Thursday, every Friday, three o'clock Pacific. In our How sports you channel. Fire that sports show. Stole it from Suge Knight. Mm. Stole it. Wow. I did not I say. I stole it. the show, and I took. Uh, I stole the show, then I made the show into a brand, and now I have wow. multiple shows. Under, oh, under he said brand. you made it a hot hey, line. Hey, he made it a hot, hot song. Hot song. Yeah, sure. Do you give Do you get residuals off that show? <laughs> nope. Get nothing off of it. Uh, you know what I get? I get Ferris cussing me out. And <laughs> you, you got fired because the way you look and the way you talk. Fifth year, oh, fifth year, five year anniversary on Friday. Four year anniversaries on Friday. Yeah, because that's the same. And plug in. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all just kicked me. I was just say, yeah, it's, it can't be five years because you guys kicked me out two years ago. So, yeah. dang, yeah, bad, we did. yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, we're doing a fundraiser stream for our friend Danny. Um, legal fees. Um, he trying to be an American, got married. Oh, okay, um, I thought, I thought, I thought he was dealing with some duty problems. Yeah, no, no, no. Ah, oh, first, you know what pays for legal fees? Video editing. He can't. He can't work right now. Why? Because I don't know. There's like something with the government, and he has to wait for a green card to get get a job. Oh, government. He can do whatever he wants to do online. You can do whatever you want online. How yeah, no, but he he's, he he wants to be a resident. I don't know, man. You gotta. But, talk what to I'm me. saying. What I'm saying is, you work for your money. How about that? That'll help. We got it's some true. And if you don't, yeah. if you don't know. If you've never seen Danny, Danny is an absolute psychopath in the best way possible. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen his? Fi- awesome. Have you ever seen his fingers? He's an awesome guy. Have you ever seen his fingers? No, it's all the same. They're oh, freaking. Uh, they're like up to here. Yeah, long. Like fingers. they're they're extremely yeah they're extremely long too long. Yeah, well, so if, you're, if you're around, definitely uh, stop by. Let's get ready to network on Friday. Uh, mm-hmm. Donate if you can. Yeah, and donate if you can. Great guy. I don't know his <laughs> wife, but I'm, I'm assuming she's fine. She's great too. No, she is. She's wonderful. Um, it was a very nice wedding in Arizona. Second time I was out of the state because he threatened me. He was like, "It'll be the end of our friendship if you don't come to my wedding." And I was like, "You know what? Oh, wow. point. That's that's interesting because I wasn't invited, but whatever." Uh, who got married? Danny. 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 Oh, Danny got married. Yeah. 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 That's why I was in Arizona. Hey, Ferris, you want to be my plus one to Matt Thomas's wedding? <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Parents gonna roll up. <laughs> hey, I'm dead serious. I'll take. I'll tell Mike. Will be like, hey, you go ahead, and we can roll can up. We, can we heckle them in the front row? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Matt, I'll bring Matt, it. I would be like, Thomas shows up in a comment section with a fist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're gonna be like, so do you do you take this man to be your lawful leader? They're like, are you sure? <laughs> you got you gonna object? <laughs> I'm not objecting. I just want to. I just want to verify with you. Are you sure? Uh, and then uh, every Friday, eight o'clock. Congratulations, six, Matt. Yeah, congratulations, to Matt. Getting you know finding the love of your life, being married forever. Good for you. I, I know I give you a lot of a lot of grief. You know you don't. You're not watching right now. It doesn't really matter. You know, I'm good for you for finding some. He probably does watch. He probably hate watches. Um, <clears throat> Why would he hate our show? What the fuck? <laughs> Wrong with you. Anyway, congratulations, man. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, fair. Uh, um, starting next week, um, the open table back at eight o'clock Pacific. Good. Yeah. You need to deal in your life. <laughs> she keeps you grounded. Come on, that was funny. Okay. Yeah. And then um Thursdays, three o'clock Pacific, me, Adelia, and Snark. We do the uh, Rewatchers Council where we break down and analyze Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one of the greatest shows. Are you, are you guys gonna are you gonna do Angel next? Ah, uh, probably. I don't that's know. A good, that's, a good, that's a good show. I should watched do, Angel before I ever watched Buffy. I've never seen Buffy. You should do Charmed, and then you can have Hendo on. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 Charmed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. First off, you would have you would have the the real fan of Charm, which is me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you were a fan of Charm. I didn't know you were a fan of Charm. 
We love charm. All that's actually time. that's act, that's actually funny because me that's what me and Hendo actually like. Um, that's not what you guys bonded over. Get out here. That's that's yeah, that is what we bonded over. It was no, was charm, charm <laughs> and dark chocolate. That's what we bonded over. You guys, you guys, that happened like know. like months, like years later. I don't know. No, it was what did we bond over? Sure, it wasn't football. I thought it was the hate. I thought it was the hate of earth. I said, well, I, I thought it was the, his disdain for Dominicans. That too, or the racism. I'm not racist. Yo, did you? Yeah, did you like, ever? Did you, oh, he's like, you know, something. Did you ever finish painting that wall with the abstracts? I bented the wall first. Yeah. He showed us the wall like the next week, bro. That's true. That's a good point. Is it still, <laughs> is it still the same thing, or did you change it? It's the same thing. A word, just like random lines. Just random patterns, it's like yeah. hieroglyphics. It looks like hieroglyphics. Yeah, it's the first time. That's the first thing I ever said to Tony. What are you? What are you? What are you painting? <laughs> if I'd have known, I mean, then I didn't say it. I, I was know. like, this is a weirdo. Do you? Uh, <laughs> you you said he's a weirdo. I didn't say it. I thought it. I was watching. Yeah. I was like, why is this dude just walking around painting <laughs> in the background? Talking about he wants his belt and his ring. He ain't get him, by the way. Uh, it was just it was odd, but we didn't know. Hey, you didn't get the belt. So I, was I got I got a belt. You, you bought yourself a belt. That's I crazy. won. I won myself a belt. You bought yourself a belt, but you didn't win the belt. Yeah, like, look, look at that. Look at that trophy. Make sure to make sure to sign up for the LBHT Patreon so you can win that trophy from who'd me. have who'd have known that day would have blossomed into a beautiful friendship. <laughs> who would have known? I don't know about beautiful, but you weren't talking about you weren't talking about hey. you. Oh shut up, I know. It's like that it's like yeah. that scene when Casablanca. Like, all right, we're getting out of here. Yeah, right, let's go. Exactly. Right. exactly. That's the only way. That and and like you know, it, because I would be watching basketball and I would fall asleep with the TV on, and I wake up and Charmed is on. I'm like, oh, whatever. Maybe all day long. Off. Let me turn this off. And you know, go. for somebody who always says they fall asleep, you don't fall asleep at night. I do. This is a long time ago though. When I look, yeah, he does fall asleep when you could night. sleep. When it's you could sleep. Like, okay. It's probably like four thirty nine a.m., but it's night to him. Bro. Come on, man! What, what channel just be having charm? Don't replay TNT. TNT. Oh, TNT! Oh, nice. Is TNT even around anymore? Yeah, it's still. Yes. Yeah, got the yeah, got the uh, tournament. Game game on on TNT. TNT? Yeah, I don't NBA watch. I don't watch. Do you think Ernie and Shaq work? Yeah, they work at. Or is it, no? I was thinking. I'm oh, my bad. I was thinking of TNN. That's what I was thinking. Of, not TNN. TNN. Hell is TNN? TNN. Yeah, TNN. That wrestling used to be on TNN. Yeah, back that's in not a rap anymore. TNT, okay. Shook. That's what it's called. No, there was TNN. Oh, there was another too. network called TNN. That's not a rap anymore. TNN. Yeah. Oh, TNN. Yeah. My bad. I said TNT. My bad. Sorry. My bad. That's on me. Oh, good. So, it's on Peacock? Do you fall asleep with the beanie on? That's true. No. It's the only place I wear it. This is facts. It's just because it's of true. the logo. Yeah. When I saw him without his beanie when he walked into the meet and greet, I was like, well, who the fuck is that? Because you're, you're over aggressive. <laughs> listen, <laughs> everything. Ferris, 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 listen, you're not the only one. Because when we showed the pictures of the meet and greet, Jay was like, where's Brodney at? <laughs> I'm like, he's right there in the picture. He's like, I don't oh, see this. <laughs> oh, this is right. But it's funny, though, right? Because we all laugh and it's like, oh, how come nobody can see that Clark Kent is Superman? He just put on glasses, but that's how it goes. <laughs> that's just that's happen. No, I'm not I mean, thinking TNA. It's T T T N T N N, and I think the TNA I think was on right. Spike. Uh, TNN became Spike TV, I believe. Oh, okay, shout out to Spike. Then that became Paramount Network. Ferris, how much did you watch uh, HBO late at night or Cinemax? You just said we were leaving, bro. This is, but this is. I never actually did watch it. Um. Watched Mansers on Spike though. Watched what? Mansers. Hit the end button. It was just a, it was just a random show where oh, people I, had I, questions I, and they answered. Yeah, I know, I know. And like, like what what bed is the best bed to have sex on? Type shit like that. Just a dumbass show. That and fair, fair, and, dumbass men. 